Hi guys, welcome to my channel, if you're new here. If you're not, welcome back. I'm Des, obviously one half of Des and Matt. It's the new year. And I wanted to sit down and talk to you about goals and expectations and fresh starts. So, aside from that awkward intro, hello, hi, there's someone knocking at the door in a moment. I'll come back. And we're back. I'm wearing the same exact clothes I wore in my last video. Maybe this one's gonna go up first. We don't know, but I'm wearing the same clothes. Um, and that's okay, because who cares, right? It's 2020. I just ended a whole decade of my life. I was 14, now I'm 24, about to be 25. I'm getting old. So I have this podcast, it's called Woman, the Loneliest Hood Podcast with me. And I talk about real and raw topics. And the first episode that was actually put out on the 1st of January, which was yesterday, depending on when you're watching this, um, I talked about goals and how I don't call them necessarily resolutions. They're just goals to me. And yeah, I just wanted to make the video version of that in case you guys aren't into podcasts or nobody ever listens to my podcast. So just, you know, yay. So my biggest goal for 2020 is I don't want to live with fear. The fear of the unknown, the fear of people judging me, the fear of not doing something because I'm afraid somebody's gonna think I'm being silly or ridiculous or you know, something like that. Like I live inside my head a lot. Sometimes I think like, what if this person sees what I'm doing and then it's like, they're gonna think I'm just being ridiculous. And why are you doing that, you know? type of thing. I don't know. I'm not making sense. I don't write scripts. Can you tell? Anyway, you know, I just don't want to live with fear and I want to do what I want to do. One of the things that I promised myself was to not be so ashamed of my artwork. So we're going to display it proudly in the background of my videos and I'm actually going to get to finishing a lot of it. That's also my chemical romance. They're a big inspiration. You know, they took a six year break and they came back stronger than ever. So, I mean, if that doesn't inspire you to just go out there and do what you want to do, I don't know what will. Uh, the last decade, I kind of just let what other people were thinking or what I thought they were thinking get to me, the fear of judgment get to me and my anxiety is fueled by a lot of fear. So everything that I wanted to do, I didn't because I was too scared. And I don't want this decade to start off the same way. Another thing that I wanted to do was start a podcast and not necessarily a podcast that people would think that I would start, you know, like a music podcast or like a true crime podcast. I wanted to start a podcast that was more in my niche, niche, niche. I feel like Mandela Effect took over that word because it used to be niche, didn't it? I don't know. Niche. Um, and make a podcast for women who just don't feel like they belong and who feel a little bit different and who can't relate to all these podcasts that are targeted towards them but you know you can't really relate to the person on the other side of the mic and that's one of my goals with women the podcast is to talk about real and raw topics and talk about anxiety and not being able to relate and why womanhood is the loneliest hood you know I'm clever it's like a cute little play on words. Um, so I'm super excited that I actually did that. I was kind of procrastinating on it because I was scared that somebody was gonna see it and then people that I know are gonna listen to it and I don't want people listening to me type of thing. Uh, but I did it and I don't care. I'm putting that fear behind me. Another thing that I did was, so 
class pass class pass has one month of free classes so I made an account and I am challenging myself to do at least five classes in the month that it's free and see if like I can ease my way into it and then maybe add more credits as we go along um, so I want to take a yoga class and I want to try new things and not be afraid of it along with health and wellness and stuff like that I also want to take some art classes maybe some painting classes a pottery class a cooking class and one of the things with fear that was holding me back with that is my anxiety so I am very socially awkward and socially anxious and I have social anxiety disorder so places with new people big crowds lots of different moving aspects give me a lot of anxiety so when I was doing therapy a couple years ago I was actually told to go to yoga classes every weekend and um, it was terrifying for me I, I didn't want to. I would sometimes sit in the car and just like have a mental breakdown because I was so scared to go in there and like talk to people and interact. It was terrifying. It's horrible and I never wish this on anybody. But that's something that I want to get over because I'm 24 years old. It is time to grow out of that shell and try to fix the things that I that are holding me back so we're gonna try some classes and I'm gonna bring you guys along you guys are gonna see it with me another thing that is on my goals list is I want to go back to school I have an associate's degree in something that I'm not really that passionate about like I'm passionate about music I'm just not passionate about music education so um, I'm sorry on my computer um, I just I, I don't want to be a music teacher and so now I have an associate's degree that's literally and figuratively sitting in a pile somewhere and I'm not using it for anything so I want to go back to school now that my school loans have been taken care of I want to go back and I want to do something that I love and I'm passionate about and I want to go to cosmetology school because that's what I've wanted since I was 18 parents didn't approve of it and the fear of disappointing them led me down the path that I just didn't care for school like community college whatever it's college like it just was not a place for me which is why I didn't apply for my next two years or my next four years or whatever I want to do things for me things that make me happy things that make me feel invigorated and something that just makes me feel alive again is that cheesy I don't know this whole video is kind of cheesy I'm sorry yeah this video is all over the place so I want to do things for me that make me happy and that will in turn change my mood towards everybody keep me in a positive mind state which is all we could ever ask for I have um, a very like a depressive mind state and I'm a professional pessimist that is just who I am and so I see the negativity in everything but I need to stop that so I feel like if I'm doing things that make me happy and make me feel happy and things that I'm passionate about and things that I want to learn about then that'll keep me positive and that will make everything better for everybody else like I won't be grumpy I won't well obviously I'll be grumpy still but you know what I mean because <sighs> my third or is this my third no it's my second um, second and final goal is to stay positive and stay in a happy mindset because being in a negative mindset isn't fun for me it's not fun for my husband it's not fun for my kids it's just not a fun time for anybody ever because I I get in a very depressive mind state and my depressive like my depression shows itself as anger and anxiety and I sit there and I open old wounds and I dwell on the past that doesn't need to be seen anymore and that's really hard to get past 
but those are my goals for 2020. I don't call them resolutions. I feel like resolutions have a negative connotation. At least they do in my head. But those are my goals for this new year, for this new decade. Of course, self-love and health and all of that is gonna come in with those goals, but yeah. So let me know some of your goals down below. Let me know what you wanna do this year, this decade. Make sure you do something that you love, something that makes you happy, and something that keeps you positive and in a happy mind state. See you guys in the next video. Bye.